so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi. And look at what's behind me. Whoa! A really cool sign! What does it say? Sci-Cart International Speedway. <gasps> yeah! Today, I'm at Sci-Cart International Speedway in Tukwila, Washington. Hey, and check out that. And that. What are those? Yeah, those are go-karts. Today, you and I are gonna learn and drive some go-karts. Whoa, did you see those? Those were flags. Yep, and when you're racing go-karts, it's very important to listen to the flagger. Yeah, because the go-kart engines are so loud, they probably can't yell at you. And through the helmet, you can't hear them. So you can communicate with colored flags. Let's learn about them. Whoa, what color is this flag? Yeah, that flag is the color green. And this means it's the start of the race. As soon as that green flag drops, it's go time. <laughs> oh, look at this flag. Yeah. This flag is the color yellow. Yeah, and the yellow flag, when you see the flagger, that means to slow down. Yeah, do not pass. That might mean that there's a little problem on the track. So be very careful. It means caution. Whoa, look at this flag. Wow, yeah, the color red. Just like a stop sign or a stoplight, it means stop immediately. There might be a big problem on the track. Maybe a couple carts spun out and they're blocking the track. Yeah, who knows? This flag just means to stop when you see it. Oh, another flag. Whoa, what color flag is this? Yeah, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> this is the blue flag. And when you see the flagger moving it up, that means move over let others pass. Yeah, maybe I'll be going really slow. And that means if I see the blue one, I'm gonna move over to let others pass. Yeah, it's really important to be safe on the track. Oh, look at this one. Black flag, you are out of the race. Oh no, that doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, you might get this, if you did something you shouldn't have, like maybe bumped people. Yeah, you're not supposed to bump during go-karts. These aren't bumper cars, they're go-karts. <laughs> oh, yeah, the white flag. That means one lap remaining. Oh, you know what this means? Give it some gas and go for the win. <laughs> and the last flag. Yep, the black and white checkered flag. That means the race is over and that you probably won. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, it's a go-kart. <laughs> yeah, we're learning about go-karts. Hey, let's learn the parts of a go-kart. Whoa, this thing is so awesome. Hey, do you know what this is called? Yeah, this is where you sit. <laughs> Yeah, and this is called a seat. Whoa, look at what I'm holding. <laughs> yeah, this is the steering wheel. Pretty cool, huh? This is how you turn left and you turn right. Yeah, just like steering a car or a truck. Yeah, go-karts also have a steering wheel. Look at what my feet are pushing on. Yeah. This, see the red? That is the brake pedal. Yeah, if you push down on that, this is gonna stop the go-kart. And you see this one over here? What color is this one? Yeah, that's the color green. And you know what green means? Green means go! Whoa! <laughs> Check this out, yeah. One great thing about go-karts is they're nice and safe because they have <laughs> a seatbelt. You have to remember to always wear your seatbelt. Yeah, 
And then, obviously, we'll be wearing a helmet, too. Whoa! Look at right here! Right in the center, this is where you fill up the go-kart with fuel. This go-kart takes gas. Let's open it up. Whoa, it's nice and full in there. I think it's ready to ride. <laughs> so hey, have you ever seen the engine of a go-kart? Come check it out. All right, wow, look at this. So let's pull off the cover. Whoa, look at the engine of the go-kart. Whoa, this is what creates the power. The gas goes in here, mixes with air, and then there's a spark from a spark plug, and then power is created. <laughs> wow, what a cool machine. I think it is time to ride the go-kart. Whoa, check out all of these go-karts. I am so excited to beat the lap record. <laughs> Whoa, check them out. Whoa. Do you see all of these go-karts? Yeah, all of these go-karts have a red number plate. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, and look at all of these go-karts. All of these go-karts have a black number plate. Whoa, there's so many numbers, come on. Whoa, look at this number. What number is this? There's a one and a six. Yeah, 16, <laughs> yeah, whoa, two of the same number, and both of the numbers are two, 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 what number is that? Yeah, 22, good job, hey, I have a simple math equation for you, let's see, what is one plus Two. One plus two. One, two. One, two, three. Yeah! The number three! <laughs> yeah! These go karts look so much fun. Hey, let's pick one at the front and then let's go for a ride. Hmm, let's see. How about this one? All right, let's hop in. Whoa, 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 not quite yet. You need to be very safe while you ride a go-kart. Let's go pick out a helmet. <laughs> whoa, look at all of these helmets we can choose from. Whoa, I am so excited. Whoa. Check out this helmet. Yeah, this helmet looks so cool. It's the color green, black, white, whoa, and Shiny silver. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have one of my two favorite colors. Yeah, a blue helmet. Wow, this looks like a cool helmet. Whoa, look at this helmet. Yeah, what color helmet is this? Yeah, the color pink. <laughs> I like this helmet. Helmets are really important to keep your head nice and safe while we're out go-karting. <laughs> Can't forget about the color red. Whoa, look at this. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> and the last color helmet that we have is the color yellow. Yeah, that's a nice color. Kind of reminds me of the color of the sun, huh? Yeah. Man, there are so many colors of helmets here. Hmm, what color helmet would you pick? Oh, I love that color. Hmm, but I need a helmet right now. Let's see. I have an idea. Why don't I use some of my own safety equipment? Pants! Yeah! Woohoo! Gloves. Now I'm ready to race. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go. 
All right, I think I am ready. <sighs> Sit in the go-kart. Ooh, safety first. We have to wear our helmet, and we need to make sure we're buckled up. All right, Flippy, you look completely ready to go. But the track record, 23.3. You think you can beat that? <sighs> I've never been more ready in my life. Sycart International Speedway in Tukwila, Washington. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy! Good job! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, <laughs> see you again. Bye bye! Hello! Hey! It's me, Flippy! Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington! Whoa! And look at all these! Wow! These are glass sculptures! Whoa, they're very delicate! Wow, so I'm gonna be nice and gentle! Whoa, check that out! Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here! Whoa, wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade here. Yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, they're made by two people right here. Okay, here we go, come on. Wow, whoa, look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Blue and orange, my two favorite colors. Wow, glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow. There's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors, <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually 
big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, and looks like we have some purple. <laughs> Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow, look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bed. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have a nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> wow. We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Whoa, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, there we go. Hey, and this is a Fluffy, yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa, oh hey, look, I kind of like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not going to touch that. Oh, it's nice and warm, though. Whoa! Look at all these! Little pieces of glass! Wow, they're so colorful! Whoa! Yellow, blue, orange and yellow, purple! Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors! Blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. And you know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold the nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa. Down here, whoa, looks like we have a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. Yeah, keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa, check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! 
<laughs> so cool. Whoa, what are they doing? Whoa, hey, who are you two? I'm Craig, I'm Dory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi, what are you doing? We are blowing glass, we're making hearts. We like to make hearts a lot. Whoa, they're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome. <laughs> sticking it in the air. Kind of look like tweezers. Do you see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this heart. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that heart. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First, I need to roll it. Yeah! Oh, that's really fun. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa. All right, now we're heating it up. I chose blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> You see how I'm spinning it? Yeah! It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! It is very hot! Okay. Now roll it. Whoa! 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 Okay. Just keep going. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to, it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. You let it cool down so that when you cover it with more hot glass, that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. 
So now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold. But when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey, but I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey. That would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon-looking device to roll it in. And look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. It's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it. But I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, Whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then how about right there? Wow. Just a little bit more of a crease. I'll try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Well yep. Great. Whoa. Wow. That was so much fun. Now they're going to do the finishing touches and then they're going to pull it off of the metal rod. Now we're keeping that back choke point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. It looks like that. Woohoo! That was so much fun at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made! Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used 
yellow, and orange. Whoa! Yeah! Yep! <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah! Do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah! Blue and orange! Whoa! <laughs> Here it is! Wow! We did such a good job making this heart. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah, and then when they were really hot, yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey, <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy, good job. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>a second we're at allegro performing arts academy in kent washington yeah do you know how i like to dance whoa yeah wow this place is where you can come and dance in one of their studios and you can even maybe take a dance lesson Woohoo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun let's go oh hey Hello. Who are you? My name is Emily. Who Ooh. are you? I'm Blippi. I'm here for the class. Awesome. Sounds like so much fun. Yeah, what should I do? So, you can go ahead and go back into the studio and I'm going to be able to teach you a dance class today. Okay. So go okay. ahead and start stretching. Okay, let's go stretch and get warmed up. Let's go. Wow! check it out. This is a dance studio. This is where you and I are gonna learn our dance from Emily. Whoa, check it out. There's some nice smooth floor. Yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa look at this. This, yeah, this looks like a mirror. Whoa, hello, hey. <laughs> yeah, dance studios have mirrors right in front of you so then you can practice your dance moves. Whoa. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> and see how you did. I definitely nailed that one. <laughs> okay, remember what Emily said? Yeah, we need to stretch and we need to warm up before she comes in to teach us our dance lesson. Okay, first things first. I need to take off my shoes. Oh, 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 oh so stinky. <laughs> okay, let's put them right over here. Now we need to stretch. Yeah, we need to stretch our muscles really far and wide so we do not injure ourselves. So first, let's stretch down. See how I'm stretching? Oh, I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> now we need to warm up, she said. Yeah means we need to get our body moving in some way or another. I mean, you could jog if you want. Yeah, you could jog. You can do some squats. <laughs> wow. Or you can just do some sweet dance moves to warm up. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Oh, hey Emily! Yeah, I love learning and I love dancing! <laughs> sure! Awesome! Would you like to see it first? Yeah! Okay, she'll show me the dance first and then I'll learn it!
Whoa, that looks really hard. But I think I'm up for it. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna start really close to the floor. So you wanna make a ball pose. You wanna get really close into your knees, right? Okay. Yes, from here you're gonna hold four counts. So you're gonna count in your head. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna make a big star pose, jump your legs out, reach your arms way up to the sky. And you hold this for four counts, and we're gonna count it five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're going to shake your hips side to side with big arms, starting to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now we're gonna learn what's called a grapevine. Yes? Ooh, okay, yeah. I don't see any grapes though. <laughs> Silly goose, it's a dance move. So oh, you're gonna okay. start with your hands on your hips. You're gonna step out with the right foot. You step out to the side. You cross this next foot behind, your left foot behind. Then you step out again. Then you're gonna jump together and clap on count four. <laughs> and then you're gonna step out to the side on the left. Step out to the side. Cross that right leg behind. Step the left foot out, out. Jump, clap together. Good. Okay. Then from here, we're gonna make strong arms down at our sides. You're gonna step, touch, side to side. So you step out with the right foot, out, then step together with that left foot, together. Step with the left foot out, right foot together. Step right foot out, left foot together. Good. Step left foot out, right foot together. <laughs> Now, last thing we need to learn. You're gonna step out with your feet, hands are gonna go into your knees. You're gonna bounce two times. Ready, you bounce. One, two, then you do two claps. Clap, clap. But it has to stay at the same tempo as the music. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you bounce. One, two, clap. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide apart because we want to be confident when we dance, right? Okay, yeah, confidence. Absolutely. So we always want to make sure we have nice wide feet. Close feet, not so much. You want nice wide feet. So you do okay. want to try every single move nice and slow all together. Okay. All right. Now remember, we have to count in our head to eight. Okay. Was that it? That was it. Whoa. That was it. I just learned the full dance and I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I think we're ready. Okay, awesome. let's hit that music. One, two, three, four, six. Shake your hips. Great, fine. Step touch. Bounce it. Clap. Yeah, we did. Good job and good job to you. Thank you so much, Flippy. Yeah, well, thank you for teaching me and them how to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, check this out. Emily's doing another dance. Come on. Whoa, this style of dancing is called jazz. It looks like so much fun! <laughs> you know jazz? Yeah! It's a type of music! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Whoa! Do you see what Emily's doing now? Yeah! She's doing ballet, <laughs> and she's actually using the ballet bar. Check it out.
that is so cool. And this type of dancing is so elegant. Wow. I have been having so much fun dancing today. Woo! <laughs> what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Do you like dancing? Yeah, I like dancing because it's a great way to get out your energy and exercise. Yeah, I love being healthy. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I teach you a dance so then you and I can dance together? Would that be fun? Yeah! Okay, the first thing about dancing is what's called rhythm. Yeah, every song has rhythm. It's basically the beat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clap my hands and then you clap your hands with me at the same time, okay? Ready? Good job! Yeah! You feel this? Yeah! This is rhythm! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Good job! Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again, but now we're gonna want to move our legs to the rhythm, okay? Ready? Here we go! we go. We got it. Double time. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now that we understand rhythm and beats, now we can learn the parts of the dance, okay? First thing, yeah, you see this up there? Yeah, what machine is that? Yeah. That is a bulldozer. So we're gonna dance as if we're bulldozers. First, you need to put your hands up like it's the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you need to move your legs and dance like a bulldozer. Yeah, there we go. We're totally like bulldozers. I love bulldozers. Whoa! <laughs> okay, all right, so that's gonna be the first dance move. And then, the second dance move, yeah, we're gonna act like kangaroos. Yeah, do you know what a kangaroo is? Yeah, whoa, <laughs> such cool animals. <laughs> okay, the cool thing about kangaroos is how high they can jump. All right, put your hands like this, and then jump really high. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I bet you can do that one really good at home. <laughs> okay, now the third dance move we're gonna do is... Yeah, that's a dinosaur, isn't it? What kind of dinosaur is that? Yeah, a T-Rex! Good job! Okay. So, the funny thing about T-Rexes are they have short little hands, yeah, like that. <laughs> but they're actually really fierce, so you have to act fierce. <laughs> okay, but now we need to put that all into rhythm and a beat, yeah, and then you act like a T-Rex. <laughs> Ra, 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 ra. <laughs> okay, those are the three dance moves. But now, remember, we need a rhythm and a beat. So, hit it, DJ. Remember the first one? Yep, bulldozer dance. <laughs> Plow the dirt. Wow. 
That was really good. I'm really proud of you. That was such a good bulldozer dance. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into the second dance move. Remember it? It's an animal. And it jumps really high. Yeah, a kangaroo. Ready? Wow, wow, kangaroos are so cool. They can jump so high. Woo! All right, shake it off. Okay, now for the third dance move, the T-Rex. Ready? Rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah, rah. Ah. Oh, I am so tired. Did you see that? Yeah, that was so much fun doing all those sweet dances today at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Wow. <laughs> I sure do love the dance. Hey, if you're around this area, you can come and do the very same creative movement class that I did today. Wow, that was so much fun. Or, yeah, I'm sure you have a local performing art studio where you can learn to dance. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dances you can do, like jazz and tap and ballet. Whoa, even acro. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Flippy, good job. All right, I'm gonna go and take a nap now at home. I am so tired. <sighs> yeah, today we're at Leavenworth Ski Hill in Leavenworth, Washington. <laughs> it is a winter wonderland today and you and I are gonna have some fun in the snow. Let's go. Whoa! That was so much fun! Whoa! Did you see what I just did? Yeah, I rode this inner tube down that hill! But that hill wasn't that big. But hey, here we have a bigger hill and we have a machine to tow you up to the hill. So then you don't have to walk all the way up there. I'll show you that soon. But first, this is an inner tube. Whoa! This inner tube has a red cover on it. Whoa, it protects the inner tube. The actual inner tube is black and rubber on the inside. See? And then there's an inner tube leash. And this ring is what the hook hooks onto. That then it tows you up to the top of the hill. Woohoo! Whoa! Let's go check it out. Okay, check it out. So this machine, yeah, there's cables there, there's gears. Check out the gears. Whoa, do you see those gears? It's spinning around. And that is what is providing all its strength and power for these hooks right there to tow the tube and the person to the top of the hill. All right, let's hook one up and then we'll watch the inner tube go. Whoa! All right, I have a game to play. Let's count how many tubes we see, all right? Two, three, four tubes. All righty, good job. We just counted to four together. Now, 
I have another game. This one's pretty simple. What shape is this inner tube? Hmm, it's not a square. Is it a triangle? No, it's the same shape as a tire. Yeah, it's a circle. Good job. <laughs> hey, check it out. Look at what this is. This is a black rubber mat. It's really heavy. And this is a gray carpet. Yeah, just like maybe carpet that you might have at home. Yeah, these mats and carpets are placed on the inner tube path to help slow you down. Because if not, maybe you'd go too fast and go off a big jump. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, here I go. Whoa. How fast I went! That was awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! What a cool machine this is! The great thing about ski hills are they have really cool machines to maintain the land! Whoa! Check it out! Wow! Do you see this? Yeah! This is a track! Yeah! This vehicle has tracks! Interesting, most vehicles have wheels and tires, but not this one, this one has tracks, so then it can dig into the snow and then it won't slip and slide. <laughs> Let's check it out. Woo! Oh, that's backwards. Oh, check it out! Do you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm riding a bike! Isn't this weird? I'm riding a bike on snow? Yeah, normally you ride a bike on concrete and dirt and asphalt, but check this out. Do you see this bike's tires? Yeah, they're so big and wide! Whoa! That is way wider than a normal bike tire. Yeah, these tires are called fat tires. So then they can grip more snow. So then you don't slip and slide. Wow, this bike has some good tread. Let's roll. This is snow, Ooh, and it's really cold. Now that it's so cold outside, put on your hats and gloves, and sip some nice warm cocoa from a mug. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> now that it's snowing outside, everyone 
everyone's having fun Let's take the snowboard out for a little run Here we go! It's winter time, snow is falling on the trees So wrap up warm to make sure you don't freeze Snowballs and snow angels playing in the cold With Snow has covered the floor. A snowmobile is what we need. With skis that keep it gripping on the ground so it can build up speed. It's winter time, snow. been so much fun playing in the snow with you today. Well, I sure do love the seasons. Yep, and wintertime is such a great time of the year. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye.